want to see some bass, uh, Don Lemon? Uh, cord, uh, uh, not is it cordless? Yeah, cordless is very excited okay. to watch me pause every seven seconds. All right, now I'm going to take it upon myself to at least wait ten seconds to pause. Okay. This is going to be a rough challenge. Rough challenge for me. Do you want a timer or a stopwatch? Too much No, it's right here. It's on the th the video. Oh, duh, of course. So I'm retarded. Remember when CNN was super liberal two weeks ago? I do remember the days. And then remember a week later when Don Lemon told Stephen Colbert and de facto the rest of the country that they were never liberal? Yeah. They're just journalists? Don Lemon has new bosses. And his new bosses have said, no fucking super lefty political shit, asshole. You're on a morning show. Be fun. And to Don Lemon's credit, he has stuck to it. He has not been a douche. Mm -hmm. He has not been his normal self. And in this next clip... I think he's auditioning to go to Fox uh, okay, in a ready. good way. In a good way. Uh, this is Don Lemon talking about, they're talking about the World Cup and the two hens on his show are going, oh yeah, and these male soccer players get paid so much more than women. And it feels good that I don't have to give the counterpoint to this because ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the new and improved based Don Lemon. If there is more interest in a men's sport the business people, the people who make money off of sports, will put that on television because we live in a capitalist society. And if people are interested in that, then there would be more attention and more money would be paid. So it's about the money. But here's the thing. And by the way, Cordless, I want credit for this. 21 seconds. Thank you, you very it. much. Fucking base Don Lemon, huh? Oh, man. You made it three times what Cordless said you would, by the way. It is pretty sad, though, that a guy just explaining basic economics to fucking TV professionals is like, oh, yes, he deserves a big right. round of applause. That mm -hmm. is his basic common sense. Like, we should have an education system in this country where by the time you're 12, that's an easy-to-understand concept. When I'm sitting here just listening to him say the thing, it seems pretty boring to me, but then you have to look at it through the lens of Don Lemon on CNN. And understand, like, how that's not normal to be right. here. And this this whole thing is USA women to earn more from men's World Cup than their wins. Do you, can I tell you why that is? Uh, it's because, like the WNBA, if I'm understanding this right, the men make so much money when they do the World Cup and play soccer that they actually fund part of the women's program. Yeah, no, that is, and I think, how that goes. Go ahead and watch the Women's World Cup, or go ahead and look at the statistics for viewership for the Women's World Cup and the Men's World Cup. And then you tell me why men make more. It makes total sense. All right, let's continue it. So now Don's going to argue with these women. Here's where I give Don a lot of credit. It's one thing to say this. It's another thing to say it in front of two women who have completely swallowed the wafer on this topic yep. and have found religion on women are oppressed. It's funny because with women like this, men are, or women are bad bitches, but they're also really oppressed by these bigger, stronger men. It's not my favorite type of woman. Women are <laughs> Just, hardcore. Women are bad bitches. Women can do everything men do, except apparently get up from being pinned. Right. I suppose. We're it's, just, what are you all, yeah. victims? And, and this word. is the point that I have, that I was making that goes to that, which is why is that what people are watching? It's because it's what they're used to watching. Why is it because it's what they're used to watching? Because men were putting men's sports on TV yes. way before. <laughs> <laughs> No, you silly girl. That look he's giving her is appropriate. And this is a gay man, by the way. So this isn't even like a, a red-blooded man. man's man looking at her and going, no. This is a gay dude going, oh, sweetie, no. <laughs> by the way, why does my gay man that. impression kind of sound like Bill Maher? I think it kind of sounded like Bill a Bill Maher guy. sounds a little like a gay man. Oh, honey, that's, no. That's not the first time that's been said. Okay, the women don't make as much as the men. Right. Okay, this is why. New rule, women are whiny bitches. Tiny men bit. make more money because their cocks are bigger. Okay. <laughs> Some nice cocks, yeah. This is Bill Maher. Hey, Bill Maher talking about dick. <laughs> this woman is so wrong. People watch men's sports more because men are sports fans, generally speaking. That's true. Men want to watch other men compete in sports. And no offense, men are better at sports than women in general. They are. They're 
I hate to say it, they're more talented. There's a lot more like chance of things going kind of crazy. Bigger, stronger, sports. faster. That's yes. it. Bigger, stronger, faster. That's why men's sports get watched more. Women can't dunk. There, no, there's a never good see reason. That in women's. No. Women can't hit each other without breaking bones in, if they played football. Even hockey, like all the checking and shit, that doesn't usually happen, I don't think, in women's. Is there women's hockey? I don't. First of all, yes. <laughs> there is women's like, hockey. Isn't that something, though, like I have to think about it? Because get this, I've only ever watched the NHL. I know in high school <laughs> they don't let you check in women's hockey. No, they don't. Nope. Women's sports. Yeah, so it's the systemic okay. institutionalized it's thing. Perhaps no, I'm not that they yet. are just more interested no, in it. But it's but Did you hear that? Yeah, he had some attitude. No, 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 no. You didn't hear what the other woman said to Don. No, I was listening to Don. So she's trying to say, no, it's institutional. And Don's like, no, that's just what they like. Like, there's this thing with women when they get in this argument and progressives in general when they get in this argument. When they hear a counter argument, they just make up a counter that doesn't exist and has no evidence behind it. And he goes, no, that's just what men like. That's what people enjoy. They mm -hmm. like watching men's sports. No, they've been conditioned to think that way. They just think that they like it more, but they don't really like it more. If they watch the WNBA more, they'd never watch LeBron James again. Not true. So listen to what this, this woman here does to Don. It's perhaps no, I'm not that done they yet. are just more interested Don, in it. But it's... Oh, done. that bitch. Done. Not done. Oh, look at done. her. She's not just done. done. Not, she's not done talking. Done. She's not done talking. Yeah, she's done making any oh, good wow. points, though. That's the exactly. Better. That's why he's cutting her off. Like, you've got nothing good to say. Yeah. Just more interested done. in it. But it's, but why are they more, but you're missing my point. Why are they more interested? Because men's sports has been around longer. People have been paying attention to it more. There have been these amazing female sports stars that have only become household names in recent decades. That's the point. And I'm saying. Really? Oh, boy. I feel like we've been talking about women's sports since the 70s, like for 50 well, years now. I don't like her argument either, because if it was so fucking good, it wouldn't take that long to catch on. Right. How about this? I'm a sports fan. I can tell you what I like. I love sports. I like six foot four, 260 pound linebackers yeah. chasing down. A I wasn't done. Now, uh, April, not done. He's talking about his fantasies. <laughs> Chasing down a six foot four, two hundred twenty five pound quarterback and rubbing his penis against him as he drives him into the turf. That's what I enjoy. Women don't have penises. It's true. They just rub each other's clams you know against each other when they dribble. That boils it down. Aaron and I watch the sports we watch because there's penises involved. There's dicks. A lot of dicks. Get rid of the dicks. Where do you have the sport? And if, if they both. How do I find out whose dick is bigger if they don't fight one another? It's true. I need to know. They all wear tight pants, too. Every sport that you and I watch, they have something tight on. Yeah. <laughs> football. Well, not boxing. Football. Eh, boxing, I guess. They don't have dicks in boxing. They have dicks. <laughs> they just they hide have them. have them removed in case they get a low blow. No, it's because they, they're shorts. They need to peacock feather a little bit, you know? I know that. I'm making jokes. No, they need to, they need to show off a little, you know? Shake their little... Boxing behinds. Started at the exact same point. They both received the same amount of marketing and promotion and all that stuff. And then we got to where we are today. That would be a different yeah, guess point. Guess what? But, but we can't do that. Get in the time machine, Marty. We have to make women's football in 1907. We can't, <laughs> we can't do it. Well, and then think about this argument too. Okay, why didn't we get women's sports started sooner? Nobody gave a shit. Nobody gave a shit. They're like, <laughs> like women's, here, here's how it started. In 1930, one woman went, we should start a women's basketball team. And men and their moms and dads all went. Ah. Oh, honey. No. Ah, honey, I've got a pie in the oven. I can't entertain this pie in the sky nonsense that you're talking. Media, big media I, giants, I big advertisers. This is an another opportunity to put point. the money where your mouth is. I don't believe that's accurate. I respect your point. <laughs> and I hear what wow. you're fucking a Don. Jeez. Am I going to start liking Don Lemon? I want to buy Don Lemon a beer right now. Ooh. Well, yeah, you have no, he wouldn't like sexually harass you oh, or anything. Oh, does he like the, like the lemon drop drinks and stuff? Like what Probably he's, does. Apple teenies. It's a gimmick. You're saying, I don't believe that's accurate. We live in a capitalist society and if people can make money off of whatever it is. Look at how fucking yes. bitchy they are right now. That's what I was just going to say. Look how cunty this bitch's face is she doesn't like that a man's just not nodding because he wants to fuck her and going uh-huh oh yeah she's absolutely doing... but she's doing that thing where she's full of rage and she's got the adrenaline smile yeah but this one's kind of like looking at the camera like 
Who the fuck she, is this she's guy? She's frustrated that he's not just agreeing. She's got that poor adrenaline control where she's like, hey, actually, Don, here's what it really is. It's like, all right, look, I, I see you're about to blow. Why don't you go to the bathroom for a second or something and just calm down? Yes. Toots. <laughs> they are going to exploit it. And there is a reason, and once part, I'm sure it's part of what you are saying, and it's part of what you're saying. And these are conversations that we need to have. But I just think that Can I, we, I just think that we are lying to ourselves if we believe that someone cannot sit here and speak the truth to can I read you a, what we're. Can I read you a headline? About. This is yeah. a fact. That'd be funny if Don oh. went no. In fact, I don't think women should be taught to read. It's dangerous. It's like giving a chimp a machine gun. And my smart producer, Annie, gave me, quote from Forbes, the fastest growing audiences on TV are for women's sports. Right, because nobody's watching oh them. So God. if five people watch them, that's a 500% growth. That is the thing. If football had a 500% growth audience, every person in the world would be watching football. Growing. But that's what they say. Ad dollars go. You're missing the point. They're coming. They're starting coming at a later starting point than men's sports were. That's they like, are so frustrated uh, that Don is not just going with like he just he all he had to do was repeat the word in the study. He goes, yeah, growing. I would go to my grave today and feel pretty good promising that Me like too. women's sports. <laughs> will never be what men's sports are. They just won't. doesn't cool. matter when anyone started or anything. They're just not entertaining. Like the only, the only women's sports I can sit here and actually say that I watch actively will occasionally be like a specific tennis player. And you know what? If Nadal or fucking Djokovic is on at the same time, I'm watching them. I'm, right, not, like, I'm not going to the women's one if they're on. I'm I've watched, not. I've watched tennis matches before when April's like watching Wimbledon or something. And, uh, I'll watch the men play and I'll go, April, you understand that those serves are like 50 miles per hour faster than the women. It's true. Men can get up into like the 120s, right. 130s, even higher. Like, remember, I, I love that story of that guy who said, he was like, any top 300, or no, McEnroe said any top 300 player in the world would beat the Williams sisters. And true. then that one guy who was ranked like 500 said, fuck that, top 500. And by the way, I'm going to drink like a fish the night before, and I'm going to smoke cigarettes before the match. And he beat both of them in one day in straight sets. Yeah. Smoked them. Why? Because he's, he's a man. He's big. He's strong. He's a, he's a man. He's a, he's a man. He just ate the lettuce. He just straight up <laughs> ate the lettuce.